What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, I think it's a wrap, y'all. I think it's a cold wrap with old Jonathan Majors playing Kang uh, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay? As you can see with this headline by Deadline, uh, Jonathan Majors and Manager Entertainment 360 part ways, all right? Every time you see this stuff go down with domestic charges uh, of any kind, all right? Or any kind of assault charges, whatever the case may be, whenever you see the agent and the management company and all of these guys cut loose all right they're saying we're done with this guy all right that's the beginning of the end all right because pretty soon everybody's going to start sponsorships have already dropped them okay we saw the u.s army ad got dropped all right and there's more information in this article let's go ahead and jump into this and we'll go a little bit deeper um because i think again this connects to a lot more than just this one incident Talent manager Entertainment 360 has dropped Jonathan Majors, several sources tell us. The recent move by Majors longtime manager comes three weeks after the magazine Dream Star was arrested on domestic violence charges in New York City. Uh, currently starring in Creed 3 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Majors' departure was due to issues surrounding the actor's personal behavior, we are informed. Now, this part right here, you guys might remember, I had discussed this whole issue back uh, when this thing first dropped, okay? This is back on March 26th of 2023. That's when this article came out, right? And uh, it stated that, you know, after, you know, he got arrested, people were coming out and saying that he was a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, okay? A lot of people had character reports about Jonathan Majors jumping on Twitter and making all kinds of accusations and saying, yeah, this guy's always been like this, okay? He's always been, somebody down here called him a sociopath, I wanted to say. Yeah, right here. I'm just going to say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader NYC community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. Now, look, Marvel didn't do their due diligence, I don't believe, in any case, okay? But when this little allegation came out and then all of these cats jumped on Twitter, okay, and they started running their mouths and saying this and that about Jonathan Majors. Listen, I think they said, you know what? Hey, somebody go dig into this. Go talk to these people that are making these commentaries, okay? Because this guy was some dude, Tim Nikolai, all right? He was on Twitter basically saying all of this stuff, calling them a sociopath and an abuser. Marvel probably said, you know what, go find out because this thing has already hit Twitter. It's already hit the, you know, the Internet. Everybody might remember or talk about this. It seems like everybody just kind of forgot that this guy said all of this stuff amongst all of these other people. You can go ahead and read through the article. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. But, you know, people were already saying, yeah, Jonathan Majors is a major problem. OK, no pun intended. All right. He's a major problem. People didn't do their due diligence. They didn't do their homework. Or if they did, they just ignored it. All right. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. That's what people were saying back then. OK. And so for this situation right now, when they're talking about the actor's personal behavior, I think this has to do. I think not only did Marvel do some digging, but this Entertainment 360 also did some digging. And they were like, hmm, you know what? We're done. We're not going to mess with this guy anymore because it looks like this guy is bad news. And those tweets or those text messages, that didn't help matters either because it proves that there was some sort of a physical altercation. I, I said that on another video, which I will also link above. That was the dumbest move that the attorney ever made. I don't understand why the attorney put that stuff out there. I would have tried to keep that information from hitting the light of, of day, okay? <laughs> yeah, they put it out there on their own, man. I tell you, my, Major, uh, your representation is... Is absolutely terrible uh, but also again another uh pr firm the lead company also initiated a break with the avengers actor in the last month so again you got the army pulling their ads okay you got this pr firm they pulled their uh a, a relationship with them all right and now you got the agent and the management company saying we're done here we're not messing with this dude anymore how long do you think it's going to take for marvel to come out and say nah we done too okay They've already talked about uh, recasting the guy. And yeah, look, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, it says here, deadline here is there's zero conversations with the Marvel camp to drop majors from the MCU. I call BS all the way on that. There is no way in the world that this guy is going to court, all right, for domestic violence charges, all right, and they, oh, well, we haven't even talked about replacing them. 
BS. Bullshit, okay? They have absolutely talked about this. There's been rumors flying all over the place about who can replace this guy. So I thought that that was hilarious. But yeah, Marvel's in a, in a bit of a quandary, all right? Because this guy's already set up in Loki for season two, okay? He's got an entire film named after him, Avengers the Kang Dynasty. He's supposed to be the big bad for the multiverse saga, all right? And it's looking like a cold wrap for this guy. I, I just don't see how he's going to um, avoid this. I don't see how he skates out of this and keeps his job with Marvel, okay? After your management company drops you, your management company should be the ones, hey, we stick by our client through thick, through thin, through good, bad, rain, sleet, snow, all of that, okay? We sticking by our client. This is our guy, okay? Three weeks after this dude gets some allegations, nah, we done. Uh, we done. Uh, pull the plug. We're out of here, all right? And Marvel, look, Marvel would be completely justified based on how Hollywood has already got down, all right? Like I said, you see how they did Johnny Depp, okay? They see how they did Johnny Depp and anybody that gets, well, except for Ezra Miller, of course, okay? But this is Disney, all right? Disney's got enough problems. Let it come out that this dude, let this thing go to trial. And this dude has been accused of all kinds of other heinous stuff and all kind of crap comes out to light, all right? Everybody's going to be on Disney's head about that. Now, I think Disney is going to pull the plug pretty, pretty soon, okay? It may not be this week, all right? But it'll be soon. But anyway, folks, what do you think about Jonathan Majors now? What is his uh, current circumstances? Do you guys think he's gone? I think he's gone. I think it's a wrap. I think he's done, all right, as Kang. All right, and maybe not his acting career, but he's done as Kang. And this thing is going to follow his acting career because that's just how his stuff works. All right, it works that way. All right, whether you think he's innocent or guilty, it really doesn't even matter when it comes to Hollywood because when somebody gets an accusation, it sticks to them. Right? Like gum on the bottom of their shoe. I always say that. It sticks to them and they'll never get away from it. And they're just going to have hell to pay to try to get that out of their name. But go ahead, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this situation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.